Hey everyone, welcome back to The Crunch, your weekly source for the latest news in the K-pop world. Today we're checking out the week of June 29th to July 5th, and without further ado, let's get right into it. On June 29th, Wanho announced the official name of his fandom, Winnie. In a live-streamed announcement, Wanho explains that the name is short for We Need, as well as We Are New Ending, which signifies a new ending and an existence that is codependent. And that is pretty adorable. On the final episode of NBC's Don't Be Jealous, legendary group Wonder Girls held a mini reunion leading up to Hyerim's wedding with Shin Min Chal. Yubin, Sunmi, Sohee, and Hyerim all met in person, while Yeen and Sunye joined via video call. It was definitely heartwarming to see the group mates back together again, and I extend my sincere congratulations to Hyerim and her new husband on the wedding. Speaking of weddings, another former idol, Rainbow's Jisook, announced that she would be marrying Lee Doo-hee in October of this year. The couple also aired their relationship through NBC's Don't Be Jealous, and Jisook even shared how her former Rainbow members reacted to the news. Congratulations to another happy couple. At the end of June, EXO's Baekhyun crossed the million seller line with his mini-album Delight which was released on May 25th. This makes him the first Korean solo artist to achieve this in 19 years, and is a major accomplishment in his career. Congratulations to Baekhyun! This past week, Day6's Jay expressed frustrations with JYP Entertainment, questioning why his activities and his YouTube channel were not being promoted as much as his fellow members. In the end, Jay and his agency discussed the issues and clarified some misunderstandings, with Jay asserting that his issue was never with his fellow members, but solely with his management. Both sides have since apologized for the situation, which now appears to be resolved. Time for another blast from the past. This July 1st marked the 10-year anniversary for K-pop icons Miss A. The group from JYP Entertainment debuted on July 1st, 2010 with their song Bad Girl, Good Girl, and became the fastest girl group to reach first place on KBS's music bank at the time. Former members Faye and Gia both posted photos on their Instagram to commemorate the occasion. Anyone else feeling old and a little teary-eyed? At the beginning of July, BTS's V teased ARMYs with a mysterious clip he posted to Twitter, which is believed to be a song from his first mixtape. In the now deleted post, he explained that it was not yet completely finished, but asked fans to listen to the spoiler while they wait for more. Here's to hoping his mixtape will make its way to us sooner rather than later. On July 1st, Yuna of Girls' Generation and Lee Hyori went out for a karaoke session and briefly livestreamed their get-together through Instagram. However, this drew mixed reactions from viewers as they believed they were not providing a good example of social distancing. Since then, both artists have posted apologies, but many netizens have come to their defense saying the situation was blown out of proportion. Over the course of the last week, former AOA member Mina has come forward with disturbing allegations against AOA's leader, Jimin. Through several Instagram posts, Mina explains that Jimin tormented and bullied her while she was in the group for over 10 years, which drove her to severe depression and led to self-harm. The story is still developing and I'm opting not to go into further detail here, but I do stand in solidarity with Mina, and I encourage you to show support for her in any way you see fit. There are links you can follow for all of these news stories in the description down below, but please be advised that some of the words and images that Mina has shared may be disturbing or triggering to you. Initially, Jimin appeared to accuse Mina of fabricating all these accusations, but has since offered an apology to Mina and has left AOA.
And that brings us to the end of this episode of The Crunch for June 29th to July 5th. This past week has been a bit of a heavier one, but let's continue to spread love and let's make the most of the week going forward. Thank you again for tuning in to the second episode of my new series. I do hope you enjoyed it and please leave a comment down below letting me know what I missed in the K-pop world this week or what I can do to improve these videos. As always, thank you for all the love, stay awkward, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!